I want to show you how to get super insane in human sounding drums that sound like this. All right, hopefully you thought that sounded cool. And if you did, stick around. I'll show you how I did it. And a credit where credit is due, I have to give a shout out to Machine, the producer, engineer, legendary mixer. This is a lot of his samples. And he very much inspired this idea. And I just happened to buy his sample pack right when I was mixing this song. And it was kind of like perfect timing. <laughs> so shout out to Machine. And we'll dig into how I chose and layered them as we go. If you're new here, my name is Malcolm Ownflood. Thank you for watching. I teach DIY audio stuff and please do subscribe. And if you want to level up your mixing, there is a free mixing workshop down below called Standout Mixes and it teaches you how to level up your mixes with the plugins you already own so you don't have to buy anything. Check that out down below and let's get into these insanely cool sounding drums. Let's do some backstory on these drums. They were recorded live with a great band called Deodon and uh, we'd recorded them at a studio called Silverside Sound. Big live drum room. It's great and I'm really happy with how it turned out. But at the end of the song, I wanted it to go up another level and let's just play that same part without those extra samples. So this is just the drum sound. And there are samples mixed in there, but that is largely a live drum performance with a great drummer and great drum tech. Now let's add in the special effects drum samples that make this sound so insane. Man, that's fun. And just so you can hear it with the band. It's pretty darn fun. It just takes it to a whole new level. And this is the end of the song. So it's kind of like this final climax that just goes so heavy. And all I've done, it's real simple. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this. Is find creative, cool sounds that I like. Again, in machine sample pack for the most part on this and drag them up to align with whatever drum hit I wanted. In this case, there are explosions, these kind of machine pang sounds. Uh, there's one that sounds like kind of like a sonar and there's some sub drops and explosions like that. And here is just those creative samples layered together. We get all of our special effects happening at the same time. So no drums, just cool special effects. So as you can hear, it sounds pretty weird on its own, right? But it works with the drums. And you might think, okay, they're so crushed, so flattened, dynamics are just evaporated from them entirely. But that makes them really easy to mix in with the dynamics of the drum. They're not going to get in the way and jump too far forward. It totally worked for me in this case, but mixed to taste. Now let's just look at it here. You can see that I've got my drums down below and I would actually just drag this folder of all my samples around based on the instrument I wanted to kind of cut to. In this case, I was working on the snare. So I could have my snare here. I could tab to where that snare is with tab to transient like so, and then click on the track I was going to drop it to and paste it there. And that was a really easy way to align. I wanted it to be pretty tight. You could arguably decide not to be right on the transient and have a little extra timing kind of shift so it sounds like a different instrument. But I wanted this to sound like augmented drums, not like different sounds on top of drums. So I feel like it blends more into it as if the drummer somehow was making these crazy sounds <laughs> with his instrument. But honestly, not all the hits were actually lined up specifically with the drums either. It was kind of just an ad, an ad, an ad until got what you wanted. This is probably the most extreme example I have of doing this, where I'm really going heavy, adding so many sounds to the drums to make it sound just ridiculously huge. But if you want to do this in maybe a song that doesn't call for such theatrical sounds, you can actually just use different drum sounds and not crazy machine sounds to, uh, pun, machine sounds. Uh, but you can use like 
different weird drum sounds to augment certain hits. And I do have a really old video on that, but the prime example being like a really long snare decay sound, like a big, huge room snare hit. You could put that on just certain hits in your song to make those hits explosive and just add some contrast, excitement, and unpredictability to your mix and arrangement. It's kind of like producing while you're mixing. It's a very creative process and I don't think creativity has to stop at the end of production. It can totally happen in the mix as well. So very short kind of conceptual video today. Just drag and drop or paste sounds as you want, but look outside of the box. Find sounds that sound cool and will blend with your drums or other instruments. It doesn't have to be your drums necessarily and add them in as you want and you can end up with something pretty darn cool. Hope you enjoy it. One more thing, shout out to Deodon and this song, Shapeshifter, for letting me use it. And uh, fun fact, it is actually the intro theme music for all of my videos in that little clip thing that happens near the start of my videos. Big love to those guys. See ya.